Hello, fellow chess enthusiasts. Welcome back to Zuko CGS Fun. Today, King Zuko is here to share some chess traps for beginners that we've discovered in terms of their openings in chess. So, in this special edition, I'll be presenting Deadly Chess Traps Zuko Chess Fun version. Okay folks, stay tuned to Zuko Chess Fun. Let's dive right into discussing these traps. Here, I'll explain them in an engaging and clear manner. Hopefully, you'll understand and grasp them. The trap is the legal trap, starting with the Italian opening. White pawn to e4, black responds with e5. White knight to e3, black knight to c6, and white bishop to c4. This is the Italian opening. If your opponent plays pawn to d6, aiming to activate their bishop, which is a common variation for beginners, we can bait them with knight to c3. And if indeed, the bishop moves to g4, here I suggest pawn to h3. Yes, if the bishop retreats here, then our trap is set, with the knight capturing the central pawn, sacrificing our queen. And if black, still a beginner, doesn't foresee this move and decides to accept the sacrifice, it leads to a checkmate in two moves. Starting with bishop, capturing the weak pawn on f7. When the king moves to e7, then knight to d5. Checkmate. Friends, this is a combination of three minor pieces to deliver checkmate. Okay, moving on, what if in this position we go straight for the knight capturing the pawn? If here the bishop directly captures the queen, our trap works. Folks, however, if in this position, black disregards capturing the queen and the black knight captures the knight on e5, supporting the bishop, preventing us from capturing the black bishop, then we have to retreat the bishop to e2, thus losing one of our pieces. Hence, in the previous position, we must play pawn to h3 first. Because if the black bishop retreats and the white knight captures the e5 pawn, the black knight can capture our knight in the e5. Because knowing that there will be a checkmate later, here our queen can capture the black bishop, and if black captures our bishop, thinking that the c4 bishop is free, then the queen can go to b5 for check, simultaneously threatening the knight. Hence, clearly in this position, we are ahead. White is ahead by one pawn, so clearly white's position is better. Alright, that's it for our lesson today. Again, this is only for beginners. I hope it's helpful. Love and peace to you all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share as much as possible. See you in the next video.